Now, time to second, they looked at a number of other secondary analyses, including time to second subsequent therapy. And amongst patients who were BRCA mutation carriers, there was a significant improvement in progression and free survival in time to second subsequent therapy, 20, about 24 months versus 15 months, showing that you know, the effectiveness of, of PARP therapy um, carries on through the, the second relapse after. Um, now, in, in BRCA-negative patients, there was also a significant improvement, although much smaller. Now, the second study I just wanted to briefly mention was um, also done in, in BRCA, uh, well, excuse me, was also published very recently. Now, patients were, that were eligible included platinum-sensitive patients with recurrent high-grade serous carcinoma and up to three prior courses of platinum-based chemotherapy. And they were randomized to chemotherapy plus a laparib in the treatment setting concurrently, and then 400 milligrams BID in the maintenance setting versus carboplatin paclitaxel alone. Now, as you can see here, there was no difference in overall survival in all patients and no difference in survival if we looked at the subgroup of BRCA mutation carriers. Interestingly, there was, there was a, an improvement in progression-free survival of all patients, and this is much greater in patients who had the BRCA mutation. Although what the authors also postulate is, is that there was no, the separation of, a, of these curves occurred late in the course of the, the therapy, late in the course of the study as you can see there. And so what they concluded was that was, there was no benefit to a laparib concurrent with chemotherapy, that the true benefit um, from the study was actually in the maintenance setting. And so as a result of these studies, as I mentioned earlier, the FDA, as well as the European Commission for Marketing in Europe, approved olaparib as monotherapy as maintenance, specifically in patients with BRCA mutations um, and at least sort of two or three lines of prior chemotherapy. Now, at least the FDA gave it conditional approval pending the results of phase, ongoing phase three randomized studies.